welcome or welcome back. Ooh, and welcome to some Friday night chit chat. It's been a moment since I think we all <laughs> sat down and had a Friday night chit chat. Yeah, it has been. It's it different on a been. weekend night because you can be wild unabandoned. Crazy. And crazy. Mm -hmm. And Irish. And Irish, I suppose. Well, I guess this is, you know, St. Patrick's Day is Sunday, so this is probably, our, you know, our last, yeah. like, video video for you know before saint patrick's day yeah gosh then it's on to easter and spring and mother's day and summer mean... july 4th your birthday like there we go that's better well july 4th is good but you know all the other ones you know yeah yeah they yeah. just it's it's spring on the whole but yeah. we've had some beautiful weather in the last couple days we have that really hasn't i mean made feel. beautiful like we hit a record high of like 70 we did and it's doing Sunny. what i Love. It's getting rid of my least favorite part of spring, which is mud. When you mud. get out of a car yeah. and the ground is either frozen solid under this much mud and you step. I hate that. <laughs> yeah. Once the ground's dried out a little bit and you can actually, like, go lay in the grass. You yeah, know, yeah, and yeah. Do stuff like that. Then I'm, I'm more into spring. Mm. But... Yeah. But we shall see. Yeah. I only like spring because summer's next. I'm not a big spring fan. I mean, pretty much for the reasons you noted. It, well, it tends to be, like, wet and gray and rainy. But then usually when March kind of passes and April comes, we, we usually have pretty decent weather. We do. Well, I then mean, you're starting gardening stuff. At yeah, that I too. know. And I'm already starting to think about gardening. Now? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, no, it's almost, I guess on March 15th. It's almost it's late, a, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, time to order seeds and things like that and plant your seeds so that they're ready to plant. Mm -hmm. End of April, May, you know, around, around that time. I had a co-worker who showed me, because I talk about gardening sometimes at work. You think I don't care? I care. Wow. Or that I don't listen. Wow. I said, our garlic is up already. And I tried to look all smug and superior about uh -huh. it. Hers was too. And she had a picture of it. <laughs> I've met my match here, and then we had a 45-minute discussion about dehydrating. Oh, well, that's nice. Which was nice, because she cans. I don't can. I'm afraid of botulism. <laughs> so, uh, But you do, you do dehydrate. I have about seven pounds of tomatoes out there now that I have yeah, to dehydrate. Yeah, you have to do that. Yeah, so that's I've been my just loving the tomato powder. I love it. I know. love it. Putting it in everything but your coffee. So I, every time I, the tomatoes are on clearance or whatever, yeah. I get them. Because like a dozen... 99 cents for a big thing. A dozen then... plum tomatoes will dry and grind to in a jar about this that much, much yeah. not a whole lot not a lot and when you use it you know you want the concentrated tomato flavor so you're using heavy it's like yeah you know, one to one maybe with water and that to get paste yeah you can mix sauce with oh, it oh it but... tastes so good and it's just so so much better than the canned tomato paste you know it's good you can dilute it further i don't know if i have yet for sauce you can make sauce juice. From it i don't too, like right, tomato yeah. juice anyway so it doesn't matter yeah. but I haven't done the sauce yet. I, I have it. We'll we would need so much of it. <laughs> we'll have it. Well, we will have it now. You know? We'll have it. So. But oh, we're gonna have some. We're gonna have some uh, some Irish fun tonight. We have a we got we have a quick bite recipe for you for St. Patrick's Day, and of course we're gonna get caught up on chit chat. Little you know, there, I mean, yeah. we we were with you on Wednesday for a. I guess that could be considered a surprise. No, that was a beach. Themed. Well, no, I was going to say a... it was like a surprise chit chat, but it was a beach. No, theme. it was a beach. <laughs> theme. If there's something elaborate behind us, it's usually we are that. not the theme of the video. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's something else in the wings. Mm -hmm. so. And then, uh, oh yeah, yesterday. Your um, rehab notebook, it was good. Oh, rehab notebook came out. I liked that topic. I totally related to that. Yeah, a lot of people, the feedback was good. There was a, mm -hmm. some nice comments in the comments section. People said they connected with it. It was yeah. good. The whole point of writing and like that and sharing that kind of writing is to let other people know these feelings exist. They exist. You're not alone. I always and hate for yeah. people who have feelings to feel like a freak. Like, no. And some oh, of us yep. are more sensitive. Yes. Check out yesterday's video if you want to hear Oh, that. yeah. So. Yeah. And I, have, or I totally related to that. I we totally. have definitely one more, maybe two more mm -hmm. for that. And then it'll just be a little mini series in the playlist. Yeah. To see if you want. But yeah. yeah. That, was, that was good. Yeah. And then of course our, our our beach theme thing. Oh, how about how about those the sandcastle nightlight? Mm -hmm. That was actually by accident. I wasn't <laughs> gonna do a nightlight at the beginning. You know, it oh. was just gonna be you know the sandcastle, and uh, so now I have it out there. I, I, I'm using it. I love it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you gotta make it. It's easy and it's really cute. I think it would be good, so great for um, kids. 
Yeah, for their room. I'm thinking of making a couple oh, for yeah. some kids that we know. You know. Well, that would be cute. Yeah, well, sorry, we'll see. Maybe by Christmas. <laughs> Well, we got, we'll see. we got plenty of time till Christmas. Yeah, we do. Oh, it and goes quick, but... we also have some viewer pictures for you. Finally, we do, right? We do. Yeah. yeah. And here, why don't we just do that now? What do you think? Sure. Oh, as you know, like, you know, we always say whenever we make something or bake something or cook something, we always say, Please try it out, and if you do you send, send us, us a, a picture, picture. Yeah. well, these are the pictures that we have over the last month or so. There's only a couple. Mm -hmm. um, first up, we have the uh, Lucky Charms Chocolate Bark, and that was made by Mary M. Oh, Mary, it looks so good. And she put in uh, green M&Ms in it as well. Ooh. And uh, that was good. In fact, that chocolate bark that we made, I just got rid of the last of it at work. I mm -hmm. set it out for the patients, you know. Yeah. So. And we have, oh, the pine cone uh, heart wreath. And it's, this was made by Frugal Musings. Mm. Yeah, it looks cool. She said, uh, she, she, hole in the middle. Oh, she didn't have a flat heart. She made it with a heart wreath frame with the hole in the middle of it. So it looks really good. I love it. The Sweetheart Soup, Cakewise Amy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Amy, it looks so good. Your hearts look so much better than mine. Oh my gosh. Oh, and she said she really liked it too, so that was good. And then, oh, the Chicken Bolognese. That was an awesome, awesome dish. Awesome. Yeah. And that was sent in, and I have to say, I love your name. Sorcerer111. Oh, that's nice. I like that, too. I love your name, too. And the picture's great. Thank you. And then the most popular is the coffee filter shamrocks. Mm -hmm. This first picture, uh, they were made by Helen H. And then we have another one from Nicole S., and then these last three pictures, oh, they're from Mick oh, and yeah, Jason. Yeah. Oh, guys, they look good. It looks like you did a different color there, too. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, Mick and Jason, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, definitely, if you try anything we do here on a channel, shoot us a picture. Definitely. And we show them every once in a while, you know. Mm -hmm. So... I don't know. Yeah. We yeah. Do. Let's us know people who are watching. Yeah, true. <laughs> Plus, you know, it's just, it's really nice to... I don't know. It's nice. It's nice when you inspire someone and someone tries something that you present to them. It just, it's nice. And when they genuinely like the what the outcome is too. Oh, yeah. like, oh, I Which tried, is always the hope. I tried that recipe, but now my mother used to. We have a quick bites for you just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, we're gonna make some Irish macaroni and cheese, y'all. And of course, it all starts with the ingredients. So over here, I have one box or one pound of pasta of your choice. Macaroni, you could do CT shells, whatever you like. And what I did was we cooked it according to the package directions and then ran it under cold water just to stop that cooking. And we're gonna set that aside. Now we need one medium onion, all diced up, one medium shallot, all diced up, a quarter cup each of unsalted butter, maybe Irish butter, uh-huh, or, and a quarter cup of flour, and then in the back there, we have one cup of heavy whipping cream, along with three cups of whole milk. As far as our seasonings, we have one bay leaf, one half tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley, one teaspoon each of mustard powder and garlic powder, and then a half teaspoon of pepper, and two cups of shredded Brussels sprouts. And really, really easy. Two cups is about 10 to 12 Brussels sprouts there. And just use a box grater and just, yep, just shred it just like that. <laughs> and for the start of our show, Irish cheddar cheese, y'all, definitely. And you're gonna need about four cups of shredded uh, Irish cheddar cheese. And you could do a combination of Irish cheddar cheese or all one flavor. Mm, that's up to you, all right? So let's get started. 
right, so our first step here is we melted that butter and we added our shallots and we added our onions and our Brussels sprouts and we sauteed that until our onions become translucent there and that was about two to three minutes. Now we're gonna add all of our seasonings and we're gonna add our flour, uh, stirring constantly for two more minutes. And now we're gonna add our milk and our cream. You can add that all at once. That, okay. And now we're just going to allow that to come up to a little boil there. And then we're gonna start to whisk and we're gonna continue to whisk until it thickens up slightly, which should take about <laughs> another two minutes. Okay, so we are at a boil now, so we're gonna go ahead and reduce that heat down to medium, and we're gonna let that cook for about five minutes to let all those flavors develop, and we're gonna give that a stir uh, every so often as well. Okay, so our sauce is, is thickening up here, and we're right where we wanna be. So now, we are gonna turn that heat off, and we're gonna add our cheese. <laughs> just sprinkle that all over, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna just continue to stir until it's all incorporated. Ooh. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so now we're gonna taste uh, just a little. Mm -hmm. Do we need salt? Do we need pepper? Nope, we are good to go. So now make sure you fish out that bay leaf. Nobody wants to get that in their mac and cheese. <laughs> okay, and we're going to add our pasta. And after we do that, it's time to assemble! Okay, before we uh, put it all together here, we have to make our toppings. So in this bowl here, I have one cup of breadcrumbs, and I have a combination of regular breadcrumbs and panko in there, a half a tablespoon of parsley, and one half cup of additional shredded Irish cheddar. And to that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of melted butter, and just give that a stir. Okay, until there we go. And now we have a uh, whatever, you, you know, a nine by 13 inch pan, or your favorite casserole dish, whatever, uh, whatever you wanna use there, okay? And then we're just going to add our mixture right to our dish. Do, do, do. Okay, and now we are going to uh, top it with our breadcrumbs. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And now we're going to bake in a 375 degree oven until it's nice and bubbly and our breadcrumbs all brown up there. That'll be 15 minutes. Oh, check it out! Oh my goodness gracious! Now to finish things off, to tie everything together, we're gonna top this with some fresh thyme leaves. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna be so okay. excited. Okay, and there you have it, our Irish macaroni and cheese! Bites. That was just under five minutes too. I've been having a challenge with these quick bites. I you know, know, three to five minutes we said for the quick bites, but it's this, a challenge. Was, this was under five, yeah, so it's the challenge to be concise. Yeah, and you know, it is Irish, you know, macaroni and cheese, but of course you could make it any time of the year. Of, of course, you know. Oh God, yeah. And uh, the Brussels sprouts just add such a wonderful flavor to it. They're good. I, was I, like, can't, I can't place it. It's not cabbagey. No. And it's not like that roasted cabbage flavor either so much. It's right. a little caramel. It's just very good. It it's is. worth it a shot. It turned out really, really good. If you yeah. try nothing else, put some cabbage in it. It's mm -hmm. just very good. And you could use, you know, really whatever type of... I mean, if you can't find Irish... I mean, the point of is it is using Irish cheddar cheese. That's what yeah. makes it, you know... Irish. Um, but I would get, if you can't find it or whatever, use the sharpest, you know, cheddar that you can find. Um, and it'll turn out just great. You could even mix them, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. But it's really, really good. You could, I was thinking, gosh, that recipe, you could even throw, like, corned beef in it. Corn you could beef. put ham, crumbled bacon. 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 So much you could do with that recipe. So good. And we made it, you know, in all honesty, I made it, what's today? Friday? Wednesday. I made it Wednesday night because mm -hmm. I had the time. And I had um, it again last night. I had it Wednesday. I had it Thursday. <laughs> I know. I, I'll probably have a little tonight. Very good. It was good, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, and I made a beef roast the other day. I made chuck roast, so I had some of that with, with it the last beef night. with the macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> That's what got me thinking. Yeah, you know, add some corned beef to it, and that would be that truly be Irish, right? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, someone, someone came to say hello and goodbye. It's our Irish kitty. Kitty. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining us, Aaron Gobra. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll get alerts when we have new videos and go live uh we're on twitter it's not twitter anymore x facebook and instagram um contact info's all below thanks and we'll catch up with you very soon yes we will the weekend is upon us yay Ooh. well steve will be back on sunday night for uh sunday night live coffee live talk coffee at 6 p.m and then i'll be seeing you monday on mondays with mark as we welcome in spring and easter it'll be a lot of fun <laughs> okay thanks for watching everybody you have a fantastic weekend we'll see you next time